These Sony VTC5 2600 milliamp batteries look promising due to their large capacity and high voltage discharge. I've been using lithium iron cells but for larger aircraft their weight was a problem. These lithium manganese cells charge just like lithium polymer. I like the metal jacket and the ease of making different shaped and sized packs. They should provide twice the energy density of lithium ion so I put together a couple packs to fly and find out. A 3 cell pack weight less than an equivalent lithium polymer pack and gave me about 6.5 minutes of aerobatic flight with a Brio 10 airplane with the power 480 motor. This was better than the 4 cell lithium ion pack that gave me about 4 minutes of flight with more weight. The higher voltage and larger capacity of the lithium manganese proved beneficial. The big difference is the lithium ion discharge curve is almost flat while the lithium manganese curve slopes down quite a bit to 2 volts instead of 3 volts per cell. This means a lot of capacity of the lithium manganese cell is unusable because there's not enough volts left in the pack to air a bat with. That said, the proof was that the 6.5 minutes of flight was acceptable though you did notice a bit less power toward the last part of the flight. There is some comfort in knowing that the pack won't crash but will taper off letting you have a couple goes at landing. I noticed that the cells needed more cooling than the life batteries. A flat pack with open spaces near the air intake was going to be necessary. The next pack was for a power 60 motor. 7 cells made a 29.4 volt pack of 2600 milliamp capacity and was exactly half the weight of the lithium ion pack of 2300 mm capacity flying was much improved with the lighter pack and flight time was around 6 minutes. The Venus 40 is way overpowered with the power 60 but that enables lots of throttle usage to keep the temperatures down. Again you can sense the power curve falling off toward the end of the flight but I can live with that. The lithium manganese cells get warmer than I'd like but some ducting may help. Larger aircraft would benefit from lithium polymer power but for 60 sized and smaller motors, these lithium manganese cells are a viable alternative. They solder easily and odd size packs are simple to make. I limit the charge power to 4 amps which is the limit for the 1100 mm lithium ion cells also. 2.5 amps are recommended by others. These are experimental packs so beware of using these lithium manganese cells for RZ flight. There is a lot of power in these batteries so they can be potentially dangerous both in charging and flying. Use only a high quality charger and monitor cell temperatures at all times.